happened? What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with a very special edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, we do have something special. Yes, we do. Now, you're probably wondering why. Why? Why is this such a special edition? Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Today is a very special day. Today is my brother's 40th. First birthday. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. So happy 41st birthday, brother. Um, at the very beginning of the channel, he gave me a bunch of requests. And he started to see that the channel was starting to take off. People were requesting, and he didn't need to put out requests to keep the channel going. So he told me, hold off on my requests. Handle all your new fans. I'll wait. So my brother's pretty cool like that. So, since today is his birthday, I am going to go back, all the way back to the very first request on my list of requests, which is one of his. That's been literally sitting here for months, waiting to be gotten to. That's the truth! So, since it is his birthday, I'm pulling it out. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to do it, so this one's for you, brother. I am going to be reacting today to a song, it's actually a cover, believe this or not. Uh, the gentleman name, the gentleman's name that's doing the cover is Leo Maracchioli. Now, I am very familiar with Leo Maracchioli's work. I'm a big fan of his. He is so original in his approach to songs. Taking songs that aren't metal and making them metal. Taking metal songs and making them acoustic and folky and He's, I mean, he's a very talented guy. On top of it, his videos are actually very entertaining. Look, anybody that could take greased lightning from Greece and turn it into a metal song, a legitimate metal song, is okay in my book. That's the fact, Jack! So, my brother wanted to watch me react to Leo Maracchioli putting his own personal spin on a Taylor Swift song called Shake It Off. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I have not heard Taylor Swift's version of Shake It Off. I I don't know if I have. I mean, it's possible I have, but I just don't know it. So, I'm going to keep my ears open. Now, here's the thing. It's a cover. So, but Leo's actually very accurate with his covers. Like, he, he pretty much keeps them true to form as far as chordal structure and such. So... I might recognize it. I might. Okay, so if I'm listening to it and I go, oh yeah, I've heard this before. I know the song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So this was posted by Frog Leap Studios. Shocking. <laughs> you know, it's, it's Leo's company. And this video has 8.53 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Shake It Off, metal cover by Leo Maracchioli. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I stay up too late, got nothing in my brain That's what people say, that's what people say I go on too many days, but I can make them say At least that's what people say, that's what people say But I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop moving It's like I got this music it's gonna be alright Cause the players gonna play And the haters gonna hate Baby, I'm just gonna shake I shake it off, I shake it off All freakers gonna break When the fakers gonna fade Baby, I'm just gonna shake I shake it off, shake it off I never listen to me 
Okay, pause really quick. I can't say for certain if I've heard this or not. There, there's a bunch of pop songs out there that all sound the same. So I, I, I'll be honest with you. It does kind of sound familiar, but it, it's not standing out. Like, it's like when you go out and you go to a restaurant you've never been to before, right? And you sit down and you order a dish that goes by a different name. Uh, but you sit down and you eat it and you're like, this tastes really familiar, but I can't put my finger on where I've had it before. You know, I, I know if I know I've tasted this before, but I don't know where. I don't know what it was called. I, I don't remember the setting. I don't I, but it just it has a familiar feel to it. So you're not a hundred percent sure if you've actually had it before. But it, there, there's that lingering, you know, voice in the back of your head going, you've had this, you've had this. Same thing here. I feel like I've heard it, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, but he's doing a great job. I mean, it sounds good. I, I like this version. <laughs> I love it when he puts his daughter in the videos, too. Her, his daughter is adorable. She really is. She's she's a cutie. Um but she's got such a great personality. She's bumping around, dancing around, got the microphone in her hand. I love it when she plays like a little drum kit and her keyboard and stuff like that in his videos. It's it's fun. He makes it a family affair, which is rare, very rare in this day and age. It, it's always fun to see that. Anyway, let's keep going here. I'm lighting on my feet. And that's what they don't see. That's what they don't see. I think we're going to be going into a guitar solo. I have a feeling I feel I felt a build. So it feels like we're going to go into something. So I'm going to pause here before I have to pause in the middle of this. Whatever's coming. Um, his. How should I put it? His commitment his commitment to playing songs in their original format. Now, listen, I don't know it. I don't know how accurate he is being, but I do know from history with this guy, from videos and songs from past, he is extremely committed to keeping the feel and format of the original song intact. He doesn't take too many liberties. He takes liberties with the sound. He takes liberties with the aggression. He takes liberties with the feel of the song, but he never really takes liberties with the chordal structure or the time signature or the tempo or anything like that. He usually keeps the song intact. So I can only assume he's doing the same thing here. Um, it sounds great. I mean, I love what he's doing. It sounds fantastic. Uh, covers are tough. Covers are tough to grade because it's, it's all based on someone else's work. So it's always a little tough, but... I mean, I, I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'll, I'll say that. I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's a cute video. You know, so it's it's really good so far. I'm digging it. Let's, let's keep going here. Back up 10 seconds. I have a feeling something big is coming. Why you beginning down and out about the lies and the dirty, dirty cheats of the world? You could have been getting down to this sick
Okay, an accordion. I was not expecting that. That caught me completely off guard. Um, that was fun. And then he went into an actual guitar solo later, which was really well done. I mean, the guy is super talented. I mean, he he plays everything. He plays the, the guitar parts, the bass parts, the drum parts. He plays it all. So the guy's got a ton of talent. Um, and again, bringing his daughter into the videos, very cool. Very cool. Uh, I love how he interacts with her. I love how he gets her to act into the camera and, you know, face the camera and stuff like that. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how she old she is in this. I mean, she looks like she's like, what, four, five, six, something like that. Good luck working with a four, five, six-year-old for hours, you know, filming and stuff like that. It just doesn't work. He probably gets little snippets here and there that he can of her just goofing around and takes it and goes, let's see what I can do with this. <laughs> Trust me, I worked with kids that age for years and years and years. It's not easy, but it's one of the most rewarding things in the world, teaching. It, it, it really is. Anyway, let's keep going here. We got about a minute and five. Yeah, we can finish this. We can finish this. Usually with his videos, he'll do like about a 40 second thing, a 30 to 40 second thing afterwards where he talks about the channel and you all know, subscribe and stuff like that. So I, 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 you've all seen it. Listen, you can go check out the video if you want. You can go subscribe to his channel if you want. Um, that was fun. That was cool. All right. I mean, like I said, I, how accurate was it to the original? I don't know. But uh, what I saw, what I heard, I enjoyed. It was good stuff. Well, there you go, folks. That was Leo Maracchioli doing a cover of Taylor Swift's "Shake It Off," a metal cover. Let's make let's be let's be very clear about this. It was a metal cover. Uh, that was a request from my brother, and since it's his 41st birthday today, I figured, why not? Why not pull it out? So there we go. All right, on a scale of one to ten, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give that an 8.3. Yep, 8.3. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I I can't really grade it too well based on accuracy to the original song because to the best of my knowledge, I haven't heard the original song before. Did it sound familiar? It kind of did. Like, it was lingering in the back of my head like, you've heard this before. And I'm like, I, I might have, but I can't place my finger on where, when, how or why I, I i i just can't uh it doesn't ring a bell it doesn't strike a chord with me like oh yes i've heard this before i nope that never happened so there were shades of it that i was like it sounds familiar it feels familiar but then again it's sort of a bunch of other pop songs i mean i i don't know i honestly couldn't tell you so how accurate was it i can only assume that it was extremely accurate. Knowing the history of Leo Maracchioli and what he has done in the past, I can only assume that it is extremely accurate and uh, paying homage to the original. So, having said that, great musicianship. Uh, the guy is super talented, plays everything. I mean, he really does. He's got uh, a ton of talent. And I, I know he did a tour not too long ago, like I think a couple years ago. Or a year ago he did like an actual tour uh with actual live musicians and did a bunch of these songs along with some originals from what I understand so uh it's always good that he's actually able to get out of the recordings to actually go out on stage and play live that's the goal man i'm gonna tell you right now if i had a list of things that i it, okay you take everything we do with the band and you make a list from the bottom with the things i absolutely hate all the way to the things that i absolutely love i'm gonna tell you right now 
My least favorite thing to do is record. I hate recording. There is nothing more boring than sitting in a recording studio for hours doing the exact same 16 bars, 14, 15, 20, 30 times. I remember one time I was in a recording studio doing it and I wasn't even the one playing. I was I was sitting there for support. Uh, and, the, and the guitar player did a guitar solo. I kid you not, 86 takes. 86 takes of the exact same 16 measure guitar solo. And it wasn't because the engineer didn't like it. It wasn't because I didn't like it. It's because the guitar player, after take, after every single take, said, I think I could do it better. It's irritating. I hate recording. I absolutely hate recording. It is at the very bottom of my list of things I like to do in a band. Absolutely bottom thing. Important? Yes. Necessary? Yes. So I understand Leo being in the recording studio, but I also know he has to get out there and perform live. I mean, if he's anything like me, he's got to be on stage. Um, the, 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 the performance was really well done. The video was fun to watch. His videos are very campy. And I, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean that in a very uh, fun, familiar way. So it, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a diss on him in any way, shape, or form. Trust me. If I wanted to disrespect his videos, I would think of a much better word than campy. But his videos are very campy. They're fun. They're lighthearted. They're meant to have some comedic value to them, some feel-good moments to them, and that's what we saw here. There was some comedic value there. The accordion, come on, that was funny. Let's be honest here. That was funny. Uh, well done, but still funny. Uh, having his little girl in the video is always a treat to see. Uh, his, his, his little girl and his, uh, I don't think it's his wife. My right? wife! I think it's his wife. Either his wife or his fiance or his girlfriend. She's in the video sometimes too, playing bass or whatever. I understand that she's actually a pretty good bass player. Um, it's always fun to see the family together doing that. It, it's, again, feel goods. Feel goods. So, that's why it's getting the 8.3. I mean, it is what it is. It's not trying to pretend to be anything it's not. It's not sitting there trying to impress with you know, a total shred fest. At the same time, it's not trying to take a song and mutate it into something that's not supposed to be meant to be. It's, it's a tribute to a song, played accurately from what I can guess, and with great musicianship, some original ideas, and just some really great feel-good moments. And that's why it's getting the 8.3. So, 8.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this very special birthday edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Happy birthday, bro. Hope you have a great one. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you didn't enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, be free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you didn't enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.